Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to a vlog. I just landed last night from Portland. Finally home, hopefully for the summer. I have no idea. Honestly, like some of these trips have just like popped up and we were just like, okay, let's go. But as of right now, home for a bit. Actually, technically I'm home for like, what's today? Oh my God, what day is it today? Just kidding, I'm really only home for today and then I'm heading down to the Cape tomorrow for Ella's birthday, obviously, but currently home. That's what we're starting with. I just went to go make a to-do list in my planner, but I don't have a pen and I don't even know where a pen would be in my house. It's like, I have no idea. Anyway, so I'm going to make coffee. I just woke up a bit ago. I'm like on west coast time but for some reason i felt good when i woke up this morning i woke up at like 8 30 from a sweat i was like sweating it was so hot and i couldn't figure out the ac upstairs like i guess something's wrong with it so i have a not like a utility but i have like um yeah i guess a utility guy coming today to help figure that out because there's something wrong with the ac up on the two levels the upper two levels of the house but the kitchen is freezing so i don't know what it is but we'll figure it out anyway good morning i have so much to do today and i just want to bring you guys along with me while i do it i guess i feel like i have some stuff to unpack like i got a ton of orders which i'll show you guys the front room i got a ton of orders and I have to unbox everything. Half of the stuff I have to unbox still is PR, but the other half, my assistant came over while I was gone and got all my packages and unboxed them and stuff, which was a huge help. So now I don't have to do all of that. I totally forgot last night that there was like a really scary spider and it like fell in my sink and I don't know where it went, but I just remembered because there's a pan in my sink that I didn't wash because I was scared of the spider. But I just want to bring you guys along with me today because I feel like I have so many things to like, kind of like finish the move in, kind of, um, although there's some things I don't have yet, like my front room, I ordered the coffee table, I ordered the couch, and I'm just waiting to figure out what two chairs I want to get for it since it's a more formal one. And then we're waiting for the frame TV. And then I'm also waiting on my office furniture. But until then, I have like kind of like the little things so far. So I forget what I showed you guys in the last moving vlog because that was like a couple weeks ago. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to have to make a list on my phone of everything I have to do today. Like a big to-do list. So I'm going to make my coffee and we're going to get the to-do list started because I have zero idea what I need to do today. You really know it's a lot. Question for those of you that are like married or engaged, like wear a ring every day. I don't have my mine on right now, my hand. Um, it's still like in my little dish. I have had my friends who are like married tell me that they don't wear theirs all the time but i feel like if i were to take it off like i don't have it on right now i feel like i'm gonna forget to put it on when i like leave the house or something but i just oh my mom's facetiming me right now so i just want to know like do you wear it around the house or do not because i also don't want to hit the diamond and have it fall out and whatnot so let me know what you do and let me answer my mom before I get into the rest of today's video, I just wanted to quickly show you guys a haul. I recently just picked up a ton of stuff from Princess Polly and I'm really excited to show you guys everything that I got. This is like the perfect transitioning into the fall haul for back to school and just, you know, the transition from your summer outfits into fall outfits. But quickly, I want to say thank you to Princess Polly for sponsoring today's video. You guys can shop everything 
that I mentioned today down below. My code will be 20 Emma XO. Princess Polly offers free shipping within the US for purchases over $50. Princess Polly also offers afterpay and shop pay to all US customers. So let's get into the haul. The first piece that I'm wearing is probably one of my favorite pieces and it's just this black cardigan. It's so cute. The way I had it on in the try with one of the outfits was I had it buttoned on one button at the top and then I had a bodysuit underneath with a pair of jeans, but it came as a set. So you really buy this cardigan as a whole entire set. And the set just comes with a pair of black biker shorts and then this little black top. But I honestly, I mean, I love it together. Here's the biker shorts. You guys will see it in the try on part. I love it together as a set that it comes in, but personally, I love the cardigan too on its own. And you can also wear like the shorts and the little top on its own too. But the way that I styled this with the tank top underneath with one button and the jeans, which you guys saw in part of the try on, is probably one of my favorite outfits. Like, I'm so excited to wear that with like a little black bag and little black kitten heels. I think that would be so, so, so cute but also this material is just so soft and cozy. I was like pretty cold because the AC is like so cold in our house, but I put it on and instantly it's like so warm. So I really, really, really do enjoy the material of this and I think it's so cute. Let's move in to the next thing. This is the bodysuit that I was talking about. It's a ribbed bodysuit that has this cute little eyelet detail on the top and a beautiful little bow in the middle. I think that this was the cutest little just a number in the world. I don't know. So cute with just a pair of jeans and you can like literally throw this on with a pair of jeans and then a pair of like black sandals or something and just like run out the house and it's probably one of the most quickest, easiest little <laughs> outfits to throw on or even with this little cardigan like I showed you guys. I've been loving skirts this summer, so long skirts actually, which I never thought I'd be one to wear long skirts. I kind of hated them for a bit, but I've been loving long skirts. I got the two most perfect long skirts from Princess Polly. The first one is more of a linen skirt. This is a definitely this is definitely more form fitting, not too tight, but definitely you can see your curves in it. So I think it's really really flattering on. Also in the skirts, I got a US size two for both of them. And then for this whole entire black outfit, I got a small medium. And then for the bodysuit, I got a US size 4. So I don't know. I feel like I've really got my sizes down too to a science for Princess Molly. But back to the skirts, this first linen one is so cute. You guys will see it in the try on. This is perfect for the summer. What I was doing all summer long with skirts is just throwing them on with like a little tank top and heading out the door but now that it's gonna get colder you can wear it with like a t-shirt or a sweater or something but long skirts are really so 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 cute with like a pair of ballet flats or whatever honestly and then this one's a little bit more flowy i'm obsessed with this one i almost wore this to a country concert the other night i thought it was so cute with like a pair of boots underneath and it covers the boots and you kind of like see them peek out the bottom with like a little tank top but i am just obsessed with the skirt i also got it in size two has little ruffles on it but this is so perfect to wear like low rise with a little top or like i said I would be really cute there's a sweater that i have later on in this haul that's like an off the shoulder sweater this with the off the shoulder sweater would look so 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 cute next i have this jacket for when it gets a little bit chillier this jacket i love the color of it and i love the style perfect to really throw on over like a workout set if you're running out the door or i kind of hate jackets for some reason but i really do enjoy the way that this one looks i love the color of it and i just think it's so cute i got in size medium large so that it was pretty oversized i didn't want it to like fit me perfectly but i wanted it to be kind of huge and cozy it's actually really warm when you put it on so definitely save it for the fall though like when it gets really cold because i put it on and i was like hot wearing it so that's just my tip the next thing i'm showing you guys is a pair of jeans you guys will see them on the try on part but i got these in a size us 2 and these are the most perfect jeans. I'm obsessed with the bottom. They have like a pre-done cuff and it has like that raw hem on the bottom, like the raw cut hem where it looks like you literally just cut the jeans and then it has a cuff. 
I love the color of these. They fit so well and they're very flattering. They're like the perfect fit on your waist, your butt, and your thighs. I feel like that's so hard to find in a pair of jeans, but these fit very, very well. And I love how they have no rips and they're just a, a perfect solid jean. This next top I'm gonna show you is this cute little tube top. This is just the daintiest, cutest little tube top. Again, it has that more of like an outline. That's like a scallop outline the little bow and then it's this like little dainty print on it i don't know i thought this was the cutest thing ever you could wear this with like a jean skirt jean shorts jeans and like little heels going out to dinner or something i don't know i really do love this top though it's very very cute this next shirt i love princess polly t-shirts so the last one i had um last haul was a red one that said love languages and i wore that like all summer long and it was one of my favorite shirts they're like the perfect fit they're tight like the perfect amount of tightness where they're not too tight but they're like tight so you can wear like really low rise pants i don't know i love wearing a tight top and low rise pants so this one's just gray and it says princess polly in pink i thought that was so cute i love the coloring of this gray and pink look so cute together but you guys will see it on i wore it actually in the try on with one of the long skirts and it looked so good I've been seeing TikToks that are like, okay, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but there's these TikToks that people will be like, it's like a sound that says like how to dress like a Pinterest girl or how to dress like a girl that's like a, like a, I don't know, someone that lives in Soho in New York. And it's always like a little baby tee, like a graphic baby tee, like a long funky skirt and then like crazy accessories but like it kind of looks good that's how i felt about this shirt in the long skirt and i really actually liked the outfit so that's kind of a cute outfit not gonna lie next we have another long skirt i in the try on thought these went together they don't this is more of a cream color off the shoulder sweater and this is just a white long skirt so this one is really really cute because it's a different material it's a thicker more sweater like material but i just again a white long skirt you can never go wrong i think it's so cute so yeah and then the sweater that i thought that went with it that i talked about a little bit ago is this off the shoulder white sweater and it kind of has like bigger sleeves like bell bottom sleeves but this is so cute it's more of a fitted sweater i kind of wish i got it in a bigger size i got it in a size us2 if i had gotten bigger i feel like it would have been a bit more like loose on me but now it kind of fits me how it should but i think it would have been cute pretty loose but it's still cute no matter what and looked really cute with the long skirt next is this little silk skirt that is just so 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 pretty so cute and just a white silk i got in size us4 so it was a bit bigger i mean it was really really low rise but just a silk little skirt so cute i don't really know yet i haven't figured out what i'd wear with this but i kind of liked it with what i had it on in the try on this doesn't go together but the way that i wore it in the try on looked so cute i wore it with this top my idea with this top was not having it buttoned fully so in the try on with the skirt i think i had it no i had it pretty open on the bottom but i really like if you wear the skirt not the skirt i would love if you wore this shirt with like the two buttons at the top buttoned it's really 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 pretty such a pretty detail on the top part of it and all the way down like the same lace, lace detail goes all the way down on the edges i just think that this top is beautiful it looks so good with a pair of low-rise jeans and some heels or i mean with the skirt that i had it on with in the try on but it's just such a cute top and it's so soft and it fits well it doesn't dig into you anywhere i saved probably one of my other favorite pieces for last so this long sleeve has been one of my go-to's lately and i've been styling it such fun ways so the first way i wore it i wore it with a pair of boots and a pair of i wore it with a pair of boots and i wore it with a pair of jean shorts and i thought it was so cute and it, my next idea for it is wearing let me just talk about the shirt first it's this black long sleeve shirt and the sleeves are kind of like that sweater i just showed you where the sleeves are a little bit wider but it looks so flattering on it's not too form-fitting it kind of just like sits on your body so nicely and then it has these really pretty like pearl 
buttons all the way up the front i'm obsessed with pearls right now i mean i've always been obsessed with pearls but i'm like super 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 into them and i got in size us2 so it does run like feeling kind of bigger like it definitely is more of like an oversized type shirt and it's longer which i really like so i'm really excited to wear it with a pair of jeans for example the cuffed jeans that i just showed you and like a little pair of kitten heels with this long shirt and i would button it like majority of the way so that it's kind of like kind of covering you still but like open on the bottom i don't know i really really love this top though and i feel like you guys would love it too especially like there's so many different ways you can style it with having only like a couple of the buttons open or having them all open with like a little shirt underneath i also tried it on with that bodysuit that i had just showed you guys with the little bow i put this shirt on over it and it looked really cute so i don't know you can really wear it so many different ways and i just love how it's very lightweight too it's not like a too thick of a long long sleeve but it's very lightweight and really looks good with anything so yeah that's about all that i have for my haul today you guys can shop everything down below and don't forget to use my code 20 emma xo if you guys want to get 20 percent off your order and i'll see you guys in the rest of this haul taking a quick pause to head to a doctor's appointment but i want to show you guys what i got done i started opening a ton of boxes and also the ac guys just got here because i well, they finished up but um basically the ac last night i think i explained this earlier it was so hot it like wasn't working i guess the ac's frozen or something so they're gonna they fixed it they still have one more thing to check they'll come back tomorrow and check it so fingers crossed it's checked soon because it was hot last night. I have some PR that I got that I want to show you guys. I'm going to obviously open up the rest of my PR and I'll show you guys that later on once I get home. Cleaned up this wine area. So it's all of, clearly we love red wine, obviously. Um, and down here is just, I have put all the waters up there just because I want to keep them in this fridge because they're so big for right now. And then we have some rosé and white wine that I got from a company I got sent to me. Then we have some champagne in there and tequila. We really only drink tequila in this house. We do not drink vodka. We also just like don't really drink, drink in general unless it's like la Wait, I'm like confused because we never drink, but we have like a ton of alcohol. This is honestly like gift gifts and stuff from getting engaged and whatnot, but I mean when people come over we can like drink wine and stuff but we just like really never drink but we do have tequila so that's fine i'm gonna show you guys here so i got which i need to get rid of that that is the ugliest little mat in the world i really do not like it but i got these buckets from or i got these baskets from amazon i'll link them down below for you guys they're great seagrass baskets i should probably get three more for the top i don't really know what we're gonna do with the top yet we may do something else but i'm obsessed with these buckets they're great i have like obviously nothing in this one this is just like shoes that i need in and out um this has the bone broth for the dog this is dog stuff like leashes collars etc this is like keys and stuff. And over here, I got this little mat from Amazon too. It's like a little mat for bowls for dogs, like water bowl and food bowl. We have a white water bowl for her, but I got a pink little food bowl. It's a slow feeder bowl. I actually got this off of, I think I got it off of Chewy. Um, it's by the brand Pika, Payika or whatever. Uh, you guys, this is the hardest bowl to find. I got the medium size because she eats three cups for every meal and this is a three cup bowl it's teeny i wish i got a large but they don't have pink in a large because the large holds six but just like for the look of it this will hold her food but i just like the look of a bigger bowl because her water bowl is huge 
but it's okay i love the pink it's so cute they have it in black in stock so some other kitchen stuff this is for the sink these are just push pins my favorite tea i ordered on amazon everything is also linked to my amazon storefront and then i got some candle trimmers kind of organizing i want to do today i got these bins off of amazon to organize like mostly just the vitamins in our pantry we have like allergy stuff right here but then we have Peyton's like vitamins are here and then mine are here and like over here so I want to put everything in organized bins but I am going to be working with a organizer for our house so hopefully she will organize like the kitchen and the pantry and everything else a little bit better than I will of my sparkling water that's going to go in the fridge and then last but not least I just want to show you guys really quick the like recite items I ordered so I got this Dutch oven I got the blue one it's cute I kind of wish I just got white, but I mean, I like it. I got this little tea kettle from William Sonoma and it's the cutest thing in the whole entire world. So I kind of wish I got something to match that, like a white, so it could look cute. But we have so much storage that I don't need to keep this out so I can put it away for when we're not using it. And then I got this skillet because I don't love normal cast iron skillets. They're like really hard to clean, but I love how this one is the white on the outside. So it's like the full cast iron, but cast iron on the inside. Peyton loves to use this to cook chicken, bacon, all that type of stuff. So we have to make sure, I don't love cast irons for some reason. They're just not my favorite pan to cook with because we have these, which I love this brand of pans these are the caraway and i got the beige color on the outside i think they're so cute they're non-stick which is super easy to cook with so yeah that's kind of all that i have for right now i'm really just like stopping what i'm doing and i gotta go i gotta get ready for my appointment i actually have to leave in the next five minutes to make it on time so yeah i also got a laundry hamper and more baskets for my closet and just like little things in here that are for the closet and whatever but we'll kind of like put this away and go over that when i get back i just got back from my appointment it was so easy and so quick let's try to set you guys up so i am going to start kind of organizing this a tiny bit before I continue with my day. I kind of want to get a lot of like the bigger pieces and things kind of organized because I have some work stuff I need to take care of, but I really want to try to like, you know, put stuff together. Hi, you guys. I just used this new Kylie. I forget where I just put it. I have no idea where I just put it. Let me look what it says. I just used the new Kylie. I just put a picture of it on my story. Um, gloss strip. And oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with it. I'm a gloss girl, like a chopstick girl, gloss girl, anything, all the above. My favorites are Dior Lip Oil, Summer Fridays Lip bomb um i love the mullen I, forget, I don't know how to say this i've heard so many different ways of saying this brand but the mullen and goats mullen and goat mullen and whatever you know and what else do i love i think that's about it but this one mm, the scent of it gives off a mix between the road salted caramel and the road birthday cake but okay i love road i love the way it looks on my lips i love the way that it smells i just feel like i'm always reapplying it let's see how this one goes because this one's pretty thick it is a bit sticky i would have to say like it was on the back of my hand and my hand's pretty sticky whereas the road isn't as sticky but I'm obsessed with it. I love the smell and I love the feeling of it on my lips. I haven't, like, my hair hasn't gotten stuck. Okay, yeah, your hair kind of gets stuck in it like glue. But I kind of really like it. So that's that. And I also want to show you guys these earrings that I got 
from PR. What ones do I want to show you guys? So, I guess you can say PR, but my friend Pia, at an event, she gave me a necklace. It was my first heavy mayhem, heavy mayhem piece. Whoa, I can't say that today. Um, it was one of those necklaces that was like the teeny, like velvet string, I like whole ordeal with a big pendant. And it was a heart one that she gave me. And so I just got a new package from her of the earrings and she let me pick some out a couple weeks ago <gasps> i'm just so excited so they're like the little i've seen these everywhere girls wearing these big earrings i'm so excited i've been really into earrings lately and here's one thing about me that i've been into lately i have three piercings right now i've been into minimal like jewelry i Normally, well, I used to wear like a ton of necklaces, ton of bracelets, ton of rings. I've been liking minimal, and if I do wear like a couple rings, it's either like my obviously my ring, and then I would wear probably like my Cartier love ring, my Cartier nail ring. I just wish I got the smaller nail ring and not the big one because I feel like the smaller one looks better on like dainty hands. And the big one's like super junky, but whatever. Anyway, I love my like very classic jewelry. Um, I obviously wear my daily Cartier love bracelet and the tennis bracelet that Peyton got for me. But I'm like super, oh, and my necklace, I wear the evil eye one every single day. I'm like kind of over wearing necklaces right now because I like am not really in the mood for any of the necklaces that I have. I feel like I've like overdone it, overworn them. This one is just obviously like evil eye it protects against you want to learn about it look it up you can get more into it i don't want to go on a whole spiel about that but i just wear it to really protect against you know evil um but anyway so i've been really into minimal jewelry things that are just like one and done simple pieces statement jewelry you know not like statement statement where it's like that's what you're wearing but if i'm wearing like an outfit like i have just like my ring on my bracelets whatnot when it comes to earrings, I have three piercings and it's really been bothering me lately how many like piercings I have and I just feel like I have a lot going on in my ear. I have my double earring that's connected with a chain that has diamonds on it. I love these earrings. They were pretty pricey and everyone asks me that where I got them, but they you buy them each separate and they both were very pricey separate. And I got them from a little boutique in Newport Beach, California, and I literally got the only pair that they had in store. I actually had to get one pair and then the other one shipped because they didn't even have a second. So I love them dearly. Like they're probably my favorites. I got them and they kind of remind me of that time, but I'm kind of over them. And then I have my first hole is just like a little mini hoop. I'm kind of over it too. Like, I think I just want to put, like, my pearls in or just get, like, a pair of, like, diamonds to wear. But I am obsessed with these. Because I, like, when I go out to, like, kind of switch up my earrings a little bit and do a little bit more of a playful earring. These are so cute. And then I also got... I'm going to show you guys my two favorites. I think these are my other favorites. Oh, these are amazing! So, like, off me just saying, like, I like more simple jewelry. Bam. Like, babe, these are not simple at all. So, I think they're they're literally clip-on. I'm, like, gonna clip it on with my ear. Like, imagine... You can literally not wear makeup and wear, like, a pair of sunglasses. Okay. And then wear these little earrings and it'd be, like, bam. But, yeah, anyway, I'm just so obsessed with these and I'm really excited about them. So that is that. I just wanted to show you guys some PR things that I got that I said I was gonna go more into. I still haven't opened up all of the other PR packages because I have some other stuff I wanna like organize first, but we're about to go organize some other things. I have to do my closet and my bathroom today. I really wanna try to get that done because I'm gonna just keep putting it off. So I wanna get that done today before I get into unboxing the rest of the stuff. I put this little basket down here with some of the blankets in it. And I'm like taking off some of the pieces of the couch cause these three pieces were my old pieces and I'm just kind of washing them. 
because I just came down here and <laughs> uh, my new rule is like no animals on the couch obviously because it's so white um, and Cleo she went to school so now she knows like that that is her place and when she's like down here hanging out like that's her place you know but my sister was over here because I had like some packages or like the Wi-Fi guy was coming over or something I forget what it was it was like a couple weeks ago and there's like little paw prints from her dog all over the couch and stuff which is just kind of annoying so these ones were like covered so I'm washing those two first and then I'll wash this one or hopefully I can maybe spot clean it since it's literally just these tiny spots one over there but I don't know that's just very annoying but it's okay so yeah that's what I'm currently doing I wasn't planning on doing this today I hope you guys can't hear but I have Zach Bryan playing downstairs so I like don't want to get copyrighted but I just cleaned my ring whoa using this little pen that I got off of Amazon Jessica I remember her talking about this a while back like really long time ago probably when she got engaged this is the diamond dazzle stick I have the ring cleaner from ring concierge and I like to use that because it's like obviously the one that came with like I don't know it came with my ring and that one you like pump it into the cap and then you scrub it with the brush that they gave you but this is really good if you're on the go or traveling because i don't like bringing the ring concierge one when traveling because i don't want to lose the little brush but i'm going to throw this into my cosmetic case this is amazing it's so easy so you like take off this blue cap and you twist it. it's kind of like one of those like brush lipsticks or like a concealer and you twist it till the blue cleaner comes out and then you brush your this also isn't sponsored it sounds like it though but you brush your ring like all the little edges and stuff like especially underneath i find that when i have my ring on and i'm putting like tanning lotion on or just like lotion in general but like i don't take my ring off before i do it i don't like taking my ring off when i travel i'm afraid that i'm going to misplace it in a hotel room or it's gonna drop somewhere that i can't grab it so i really never take it off when i travel except for like i'll take it off obviously like when i'm at home like when i do my moisturizers and stuff but anyway as i was saying it gets caught all underneath there and like around those little diamonds so when you scrub it clean like look at it now it's literally sparkling it's so clean but yeah i'm so glad i got this because it's gonna be so easy when traveling anyway i have to unpack i think i want to try to start unpacking and getting my bathroom organized a bit i'm like so getting tired which i always hit a slump at this hour but i can't go to sleep because i like have so much to do so i'm gonna just need to like bang it all out and try to get it done and i like really don't want to but it's okay we're just like trying our best today i'm really just unpacking to repack for the cape for the next couple days so i'm really not going to unpack too much i just have like laundry i need to do um but i'm also washing my couch now which is kind of annoying and stuff so let's i'm going to organize my closet quick with those two boxes i'm going to put my underwear in one box and my socks in the other so i'm going to go switch that out now and probably throw everything from my bathroom into drawers to get that over with. 